I'm being forcibly removed from the building again of a public lobby, so. So if you want to take out that gun and badge, I'm happy to scrap with you one day. If you want to do it, you let's do it. Let me know, buddy. That is not a crime. And you're telling me to get out of my vehicle. Do you know where Lieutenant Mingus is right now? So no, he's not in the building? I I'm not. What do you know? Okay, I don't want that man taking my picture. Uh, Why don't you take him out of sir, here? Sir, you hit me. I'm gonna do you hit me. Okay, sir, okay now you take my picture, no, 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 no. I don't know you. I'm not telling you nothing else until I find out who's driving that vehicle. You not a supervisor, bro. I need somebody higher than you right now. Uh, if you didn't know, I went to the police academy and they kicked me out. Spit in my face. Today's video takes us to Franklin, Indiana, where we find Floyd the Frauditor sticking his hands in his pockets as he squares off with law enforcement officers. Never a good idea, especially when the law enforcement officers are ordering you to take your hands out of your pockets. Why would you do that? Well, in Floyd's case, it's strictly for clicks and views. He has this thing about scratching his back and scratching other places on his body that he claims are itchy. Well, one day he may not have to worry about all that because his body won't itch anymore if you get my drift. <laughs> Enjoy! I'm not going away. Go back inside. I can't. And you're more than welcome to film our police department. That's what I'm doing. Now go back inside. I just don't want you to reach for what's in your pocket. All right, don't do that. Sometimes you got to reach. This is Floyd Wallace, the frauditor. His claim to fame, if you can call it that, is putting his hands behind his back as the police approach. We all know what that means. And then he loves to put his hands in his pockets. Why would you do that? A normal thinking person would never do that with police approaching. But Floyd does it because it's good for clicks and views on his YouTube channel. Now, of course, one day you may get a rookie cop or even a seasoned cop who has a thought other than Floyd scratching his back and they may unleash a torrent of hot lead in his direction. I certainly hope not. I don't want to see anyone get hurt. But Floyd does this so much that I think it's headed his way. Let's see what happens. Now go back inside, man. Mind your business. I told you to get out of my face. I didn't come out here. I didn't talk to you. I said, I didn't ask you to come out here. not to touch that in your pocket. All right, if you do it again, I'm going to put you in custody. For what crime? And that's the reason I'm doing it. For what, for what crime? And I want to stay safe. For what crime? You just said I wasn't detained, so what's going on? Don't reach for that again, okay? All right. Don't touch me. I'm not going to. Floyd is always worried about people touching him. Well, that should be the least of Floyd's worries because not only is he touched, but usually he is placed into handcuffs and detained because he constantly refuses to identify himself. Now, if you look in all his videos, each and every title says, I refuse to ID. Well, that's not entirely true, Floyd, because eventually 
you show ID, you identify yourself, and that's the only reason you're let out of those handcuffs. Of course, on some occasions, you're taken into custody temporarily until they do identify you. Uh, you've been taken to the jail how many times, Floyd? The boy just never learns. I don't know, man, for clicks and views. There's better jobs, Floyd. Get a better job. Get a real job. Okay, here's what I want you to do. I'm going to be cool if you're cool. Make sure my body comes off. No problem with that at all. I want to be cool, and I want you to be cool as well. Is there something we can help you with? Is there a particular thing that you're coming for? Did you get a permit for? See, I don't like this. Well, I don't, I don't like this either. But then go inside, bro. I'm not doing nothing. You see me filming, so go inside. What's your name and bass number, dude? What's that? What's your name and bass number? Uh, here we have Floyd surrounded by two police officers. Both of them have their hands on their weapons. And he wants to know names and badge numbers. Well, he's been in that situation many, many times. And usually he gets tased or he gets taken into custody. Either way, it's unpleasant. But it's good for clicks and views, isn't it, Floyd? Man, I'm telling you, I would not subject myself to potential harm. But that's what Floyd wants because then he can file a complaint and frivolous lawsuits. But I'm wondering, is it all really worth it? If you're paralyzed and can't carry on like you used to? I don't think so, Floyd. As a matter of fact, I know it's not worth it. But you carry on and you'll find out one day for, oh my God, you'll find out the hard way, Floyd. Just keep your hands out of your pockets. Scratching my side, not in my pocket. You see my hands right here? It's right on the side. Huh? That's a, that's a pocket, but it ain't in there. My, my side itches, huh? Well, yes, actually go inside. Okay. That's what you can do I'm for not me. Go mm -hmm. I want to know what's going on here. I want to make sure that you're not trying to incite us for some kind of action. Dude, go inside, bro. I done told you to leave me alone. I'm not going to leave you alone. They, right say, say, they don't, don't call it inciting or harassment because you're, you're bothering me right now. Floyd just wants to be left alone so he can record in public. But really, that wouldn't do any good because there'd be no confrontation. So Floyd relishes this confrontation. As a matter of fact, he encourages it. He wants you to touch him. Go over there and tell him some threatening things. That'll be good for his YouTube channel. In the meantime, I think we're going to have to cut through this high-quality content because it's just 24 minutes of a go-round. Yeah, frauditors love arguing because it makes for great content. But no, we're not going to sit here and watch this entire video, so allow me to fast forward. One moment, please. So you said I'm not detained? What's that? You said I wasn't detained, right? Correct. All right, cool, man. I did give you a warning that if you touch what's in your pocket again, you will be detained. For what crime? Officer safety. That's not a crime. Go inside, man. There, there has to be a crime. There has to be a crime. Because to me, that handle looks like it could be a handle to a crime. Well, it could be, but it's not. So, it's none of your business what it... Oh, see, that's the... Do you mind if I remove it? Do you think you could determine it's a weapon? Here we go with this BS, bro. I don't like to be surrounded. I'll be around it. None of your business. It's a mighty dangerous game that Floyd plays with the police. And while Floyd thinks it's a game, the police take it very seriously. Because it is about officer safety. It is all about the officers. Yeah, because they face a number of dangers each and every day. And they don't have time to put up with Floyd's nonsense. And most likely, he's dressed as a ninja again. Which means he's dressed in black from head to toe with some dark sunglasses on. Dressing like that is always going to attract attention on a nice sunny day. No doubt about it, but Floyd is too stupid to realize all that. A few minutes later.
have gotten a reaction. Is there anything else that you want? Go inside, man. Inside. I done told you to go inside. Are you going to be out here all day? Hmm? Like, what are you doing? None of your business, bro. Go inside. I'm not detained, so go inside. Not detained. Not detained. Yeah, if you touch me, bro, I'm, I'm not gonna let you. I'm not gonna let you handcuff me, them. You're not gonna touch me. It's gonna be. It's, it's gonna be. It's gonna be. It's gonna be hard to do. I'm telling you that right now. Don't touch me, bro. Ah, uh, here we have Floyd playing up to the camera. Oh, you're not going to handcuff me. I'll tell you that right now. You're going to have a problem. Right, Floyd, there's three of them and one of you. And I'll tell you one thing. That's not your bro. That's not your homie. No, he's nothing to you except a police officer. And he will put you in handcuffs if necessary. Now, I haven't watched the end of this video, so I don't know what's going to happen. But I can only hope for the best for you, Floyd, which would be handcuffs. A little longer than a few minutes later. So if it's a consensual contact, you, got, you, can't, you can't tell him, hey, I'm going to cuff you if you touch something, if it's a consensual contact. He wasn't being detained. There's no reason why I can't Condo, condo, condo. Of a which we right told him he wasn't being detained numerous times. Right, right. And, and, and under that basis, you had no authority tell, telling him not to touch something. If you were afraid no. of it, you should get walk away if you're not being detained. If he's being detained, then you can tell him, but I will show hey, you again. you for weapons, See? or whatever you want to do. See this? But I want to show it for the camera. Detained, you've got zero Hold authority on. Hold to on. tell him. Not, no, I watched See that? you live. You were telling him, you touch that again, I'm going to put you in cuffs. Did you not say that? I said well, my first question is, who is this guy dressed as Santa Claus? That's what I want to know. And then second off, why would you have something sticking out of your pocket with a grip on it that looks like the grip to a gun? Yeah, at a distance, you can't tell what that is. I would have every concern as well if I were a police officer as to what was in his pocket. It certainly looks a pistol grip to me. Yeah, at any rate, Floyd doesn't care because this is exactly what Floyd wants. He wants confrontation. He wants argument. He wants clicks and views. He must be making some good money on YouTube. But then again, I'm thinking quite a few of his videos probably aren't fully monetized because of the direct confrontation with the police. Yeah, I know when I try to monetize videos that I've done of him, they don't go through. So you don't get the full benefit of the advertisement. But he is still making some money. Over me? Right. Well, you're just gonna talk, okay, you're gonna give you're gonna give me thing. drugs, I'll give you some. How's this? Don't eat yellow snow. Don't good don't kick your advice. wife and don't sleep with your neighbor's dog. How's that's, that? That's, that's all good advice. advice. Yeah, great advice. That's great advice. Right. Hey, so well, you, have, if you don't have somebody detained. You have no authority to, you have zero authority. No, no, don't talk over me, it's my turn, I listen to you. You listen to me for a second. If you have, you have zero authority to instruct him what to do or not to do if he's not. Oh my goodness, I thought Santa Claus was a fat, jolly man that came around and made the children happy at Christmas, but apparently not. Apparently Santa Claus is a fat, bald man who wants to talk about not being detained by the police and how, how they have no authority. Oh, he must not be from the North Pole after all. Well, let's carry on and see what happens at the end of this video. Okay. Did you agree with that? There's no Supreme Court case that gives you authority over him when he's not detained. Is that right? Not in all situations. Okay. So you, have, tell me the Supreme Court have. case that gives you authority over him when he's not detained. Well, there you have it, folks. Floyd the Frauditor doing what he does best because that's all he knows how to do is be a frauditor in life. I think that PayPal Patty and Earl Warden did this poor man a disservice teaching him how to do these things because now that's all he does. Puts his hands behind his back and puts his hands into his pockets. One of the most dangerous things you could ever do 
when facing off with a police officer. And that's what he's doing. He's facing off with them. He's trying to provoke them into a reaction that one day could prove fatal for him. I hope it never happens, but I think it will. No doubt about that. But if you enjoy watching idiots, imbeciles, and morons on my channel, please subscribe. As always, thanks so much for stopping by. Cheers to that. Oh, you assaulted me. I did. You assaulted me. She assaulted me. Oh, yo, you're racist. Racist. Oh, that's a hate crime. You're being disorderly. Call the police. Call the police. Call the police. I'm not sitting down. I refuse to sit down. I refuse. Big tough guy. Big tough guy. Big tough guy. What are you gonna do about it? Nothing. Nothing. You can come try to make me. You're welcome to try to make me. Take a swing. Take a swing. What is the reason for calling the officers here? You go to jail, bro. Go ahead, put Stop your hands on me. me bro. Put your hands on me. Please, no reason I'm really, to have. I'm really, I'm really unhappy that somebody did this to me. We're gonna arrest you for trespassing yeah. in a minute. On um, public property? Yeah. We're asking you to leave, and you're not leaving. That's trespassing. She's, oh, she's right in my face, guys. You, you just permit? assaulted me, man. You can't t come up and touch me like that. You don't have permission to film me in any space. I don't need permission to yes, you record do. you in public, man. Actually, no, that's the do. law. Salam yalla hamdula, alu akbar. Hark noik on the crowd! Ula walla fufatai!